Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we just got regular old Maggie, which is always a fun one to kick things off, especially, especially in this scenario, right? Item room wise, pretty good item off the bat there. And we get the sack room play right off the bat, which is always nice. Boom. 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 And full health. Boom. Oh, we got a decent item there. And I think I'm going to come back for the last play, or last two plays, is it? Um, once I've got some extra stuff going on in terms of HP. But, good start. I mean, we got a really, really good item here um, in that we get uh, free curse room entries now. And also it can save us in a few other ways as well. In a few other ways here and there. I don't like the fact that the champion version of this guy has such a wide radius on his poison. That scares me. <laughs> his poison is blood. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. As for the question of the day, do you know what? We can just use this half soul heart here. Why not? And there you go. We Ah! Oh, oh my lord. Okay. This run's looking pretty good. This run's looking pretty good. We've got free cash from entries in multiple ways. Um, wasn't expecting that, but certainly don't mind it. Certainly don't mind it. I like it quite a lot. I like it quite a lot. Uh, but yeah. Um, as for the question of the day, what was I going to say? Um, I had, I had one in mind and now it's gone. I had one in mind and now it's gone. What, what animal would you love to be able to understand? If, if like... If you could, if it, animal, insect, anything, if you could understand it, it could speak to you and tell you about what, how it, how it lives or how it feels or what it thinks, what would it be for you? Because I think, I think it, like, it sounds really basic, but I think it would be super interesting to, like, actually definitively find out if cats care about their owners. Because, <laughs> like, they do in a way, but, like, I always wonder if, it, if it's just because they are their provider of food and, com and like, comfort housing. Or how many of them actually like the people that they're cozy with. It's it's always curious to me. And I know that's a super basic one. And obviously a lot of people should be like, I just want to know if my dog's hungry or loves me. <laughs> but I feel like that'd be interesting to know. Uh, right, secret room. Let's take a little look around. This has been a, a banging start, to be honest. A banging start. This is a weird one for secret room, let's be honest. It's a weird one. I think... Think it's here? There you go. Ooh, horse pill. Double look up, I'll take it. Magic 8 ball's kind of nice for some planetarium chance early on, and the Empress will help us kill our boss a bit quicker. We like it. Good stuff. I can't remember if Tough as Nails allows you to do damage. Check this out as well. Not much going on there. That's kind, of, that's kind of an interesting idea for a room. We can also go to our shop now as well. we got enough money. Dude, this has been an absolutely amazing first floor. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, how many hearts do we have in here? I'm going to take this slow. Let, let me do my boss first, actually. Let me do my boss first. Fucking caught myself in a bad spot there, haven't I? I'm going to use my Empress card. Fuck it. I just want the extra damage to speed this up a little bit. I don't need to use it, but why not? You go. Thank you. And you go, please, as well. Good, good. Not a great item there, but that's fine. Right. I think we play the rest of the sack room, you know. Let's check out our shop first. I think we do play the rest of the sack room and get uh, our soul hearts or whatever. Our money. Definitely go for there's options. Kind of wish I'd have done that before the boss now, but what's done is done. I don't mind the extra range, to be fair, so it's not a terrible thing that I got that. Right. Blackheart spawns kind of nice here. We'll, we'll, we'll take out Uriel. Why not? Good thing is about Uriel and the boss fights in this room. You can actually make them walk into the spikes in the middle of the room. It's not the most effective damage dealer. But even flying enemies can take damage on those spikes. Good, good. Uh, 
cool. We did get the soul hearts, nice. And I will do this for the second one as well, why not? Why not just get the whole the whole piece going? Why not? It just it's just nice to have the extra angel chance, I guess. It's not necessary to have run at all, but I might end up doing Mega Satan if the run leans that way, to be honest. We'll see. But yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted the seven soul hearts. Seven soul hearts is pretty goddamn good to get off the bat on a streak. And this is, yeah, this has just been an absolutely amazing first floor. I mean, Maggie first floor sack room is always just unbelievably good. Like, the chances of getting something decent from it are pretty high. Um, but actually getting something decent like Holy Mantle is, is pretty, pretty lovely. Cool. Urkily durkily. Let's get to heading. Let's get to heading. We have gained quite a number of things on the first floor here. Quite a number of things. But we shall make our leave and see what more the horizon holds for us. We do not have anything to go down to the alt floor at the moment, but I'd be willing to do alt floor, I think, if I get a key this floor that is an excess key. We've also got the chance at red buttons every now and again to insta-kill rooms. It's not super common, it's like a 15% chance, but... Rather nice. And unlike Effigy, you still get the room payout reward with uh, the do not push buttons. It's a pretty insanely good item. It's a pretty boring item, mind you. Like, it's pretty dull, but it's it's good. It's still good. Fortunately, my tier size is really throwing me off on how much damage I have right now. <laughs> That's kind of confusing. I do find it funny that I was like, yay, we have something to uh, get into our curse rooms for free. And it's like, nope, you've got Holy Mantle. That's better. <laughs> Okay, good. Wow, this is an annoying ass room, this. Very annoying room indeed. This guy's gonna reform as well, isn't he? Dude, he just won't die. Okay, he doesn't reform. Dude, he just wouldn't die. <laughs> Took forever. Base stats for this is annoying. Be nice to get something where we can use Holy Mantle aggressively, some on hit effects. Like I said, Toughest Nails, I believe we can do contact damage with, but it's a little more risky. I like the way these little flies look now. They've got change and they're nice. Right, grab, grab, grab. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Thank God we got all that stuff on the first room, because otherwise we'd have been pretty disappointed right about now. Pretty disappointed. Abel, you're not the best. You're not the best. One one buff that I saw to Abel that I really liked is a mod that I used to use that buffed some weaker items. Basically, it just made it so that Abel was able to pick stuff up. So, for example, if I walked him into this key, like, I can't even do it, but if, if I was to walk him in front into that key, he'd be able to t touch it and pick it up, which meant that stuff that was over gaps or behind stuff, you could, like, open chests and stuff like that. Which I thought was a pretty interesting buff to him without buffing his actual damage or anything. Good. Shop we're not going to go for right now, but we'll think about because we've got okay money for a soul heart at least. But we don't really need the soul heart right now. I mean, our health is way over where it should be, and we've got holy mantle, so I think we're pretty much fine in the HP department right now. I think we're absolutely fine. I'm doing a bit of a, a recorder palooza right now. My third uh, Isaac episode in a row. Doing quite a few, baby. Quite a few. I need to get back to doing the Isaacles on the episodes as well. I haven't done that in a little while, and I did enjoy them. I, I still do them on occasion, just in my own time. But I, th I think they were a good addition to the episode, so let, let me know if you guys want to see the Isaacles back again, because I, I, I think they were kind of interesting. They added a little bit extra to the, uh, to the episodes. Okay. There's enough money for the shop, pretty much. Um, we've got an extra key as well. And another extra key. Beautiful. Oh no, my holy mantle. What will I ever do? Hey, there you go. Okay, we've got enough for shop. I, I think I think we are potentially going to do a mother run here. This run's very good. So mother could definitely be plausible. 
We'll see what we get from our shop here. Secret room's almost definitely just below here. Uh, right here. And um, we get something pretty good. Um, spawn a random pickup on killing a champion. We like that a lot. 33% chance, that is. And then here we get something that's not so good. But, meh. Whatever. Just an intriguing little room. Right. Boss time. I'm hoping for some damage here from the boss. I actually, I actually think I'm going to go devil deal here. Because we have so much HP and not many ways to lose it. <laughs> so I think uh, taking... Taking Devil Deal just to try and boost our damage early makes more sense. I'm hoping we get a Planetarium this run as well with our 16% chance so early in the game. Um, we'll definitely take Fishhook here for the fire rate. It's a good bit of DPS up. And then... Yeah, I think... I think I'm going to take both of these. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Because we don't need Yum Heart anymore, and this book is regenerable HP, but also more devil deals for us to work with, which I think is pretty interesting, especially when we've got more options, which I think does work with the uh, with the book. Being able to choose between two devil deals seems pretty goddamn good, um, if that's how it works. It might be to choose between one devil deal and one regular boss item, which is also useful, actually, so I don't mind that either way. And while we've got good HP as well, it makes sense. In here we go. I, I would like some extra speed at the moment, though. Speed is definitely a factor that we're, uh, we're lacking in right now. Extra key. Thank you. Oh. But yeah, I'm, I'm in, a, in a really good mood for Isaac at the moment. I'm just really, really enjoying it. I just Isaac's just one of those comfort games for me nowadays. Like Because I do it for YouTube, I just, I just have it as this game that I can come to and play for like a few hours and, and just feel really chill and sort of zen. Have a nice little relaxing time playing Isaac. Even on the streak, I mean, I know the streaks are kind of risky and like they can be sketchy if I take certain items or get certain characters. But we also are having runs like this where I'm not going to say there's no risk of death because if we go into our mirror world and I balls it up, we could easily die. Uh, but I think for the most part, we're in a position where death is not super, super likely. Like an extra fire rate bonus there. That's our white fire. Good. Item room as well. Not got enough money for the next shop here, but we got a good item out of our last shop. Especially the, the champions giving bonus stuff, especially if you get the curse where there's more champions, is incredibly strong. Because it's, it's random pickup. It, it can be anything. You can get loads of different stuff. Get some wacky shit out of that. We'll pop that. Um, Super Meat Fan is, of course, what we'll go for here. Some extra stats is always nice. Not exactly a lot, but it's good. Right, I'll do this extra room here first. And we'll go check out our boss. We've got eight bombs to work with as well, so we've got plenty of bombs to bomb the boss with. God damn, he took a while to die. Yeah, damage has still got some some ways to go. Okay, Rainmaker, he's not particularly hard. I'm not going to use any bombs on him this time around. I might do my Mirror World against him. Got to be careful, though. I don't know. It depends what we get here, because my damage just right now isn't the best. Do remember, though, once we kill the boss, we'll be redoing all the rooms because of Gilmora. Um, so we get... Duality, I guess I'll take duality. Not the most ideal. Right, what we got going on here? Chance to shoot a tier with increased damage that adds a charge to your active after doing enough damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. We've got some really good stuff here, to be honest. I think we'll take both of these. That puts our damage in a really good spot. Yeah, firing a tier that deals extra damage and charges that active seems pretty good. Right. Yeah, we're going to be able to charge our active up 
pretty quick here. Gilmore is also going to be able to give us way more charges too, which is useful. I like that quite a bit. Oh, the, 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 we got a charge bar underneath us, look, I think. I think that charge bar is telling us when we get our... Uh, when we get our extra charge on our active item by the looks of it. So I'd assume... Okay, uh, white fire, first of all, we come back and grab all of this crap. A lot of stuff going on in here. Good, good, and then mirror room is back down here. We've almost got enough of the shop as well here, actually. Right, mirror room. Just get ready with our more of the void for every room here. Gonna go through and do all the rooms. Getting those extra charges seems useful to me. Good, good. Pop that bad boy. Oh god, I got a really itchy arm for some reason. One second. Oh my god. It's my old mosquito bites from when I was in Venice. On whatever this is. I'll just... And that gives us a holy mantle, which obviously right now doesn't do anything for us, but there you go. Oh god, I didn't realize you wouldn't fully die there. What you doing, buddy? There's our extra charge there, look. Right, let's go and do the boss again as well here. Um, it's a bit risky this, but I'm just going to go for it because we have a lot of damage. He's doing the same attack over and over again, which I really don't like. Okay, we're good. We got him. Okay. Um, when shooting, launch a piercing dagger that does no damage but inflicts bleed. Um, yeah, we'll go for that. Good stuff. Okay. We are good to... Oh, dude, we have to do all these rooms again. I didn't think we'd have to do them again. Gilmora absolutely going wild out here. Uh, where's that mirror room? Just here. This is funny, this. <laughs> been a wild time, right. We're good to go. We've been here for a fucking while, but we're good to go. Um... I'm just going to check my shop, just in case. <sighs> Card reading is very, very good. Is there any way I can get that? Um... I'm going to blow this up anyhow. Oh, there you go. That was perfect. Exactly the sort of thing we needed. This is quite, quite a bit of extra money here. These rocks just go wild and create a ridiculous amount of spinning money. Just lasts forever and a day. There you go. That was more money than I was expecting. Thank you for that. I should also buy this extra key as well, you know. Right. Yet another very good flaw. Yet another very, very good flaw. I think we'll be taking our leave now and going to the mines. Thank you muchly. Don't think we're likely to have too many problems on this floor. We can go secret room our boss. I think I'll go straight to the secret room, thank you.
We get placebo, which unfortunately, while good, isn't really what I'm looking for. Some extra bombs is nice. Yeah, no thank you. Don't don't be don't be getting up, boys. Don't be getting up. And we're gonna get a lot of these little blood things as well from a ceremonial dagger. That's kind of nice too. I'm liking this all ex extra charges item we got going on here. Haha, <laughs> you think your fire can best me? Uh, no, no, no. Ah, my god, I forgot we have the red buttons. It's been so long since we've seen one. Normally I'm like really lucky with that item and I get tons of them, but this time around not so much. Just go and fight the boss, shall we? We've used that book, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yeah, we just used it. Right, we bleed you. Some good extra damage there. Dude, more of the void is just too good, man. It's simply too good. We get this bad boy. Um, we go angel deal here because of duality. Not what I was hoping for, but we don't mind some extra HP. We don't mind some extra HP. Not going to bother with the ferryman. One sec. Let's keep this baller rolling. Another <laughs> another kill button there. Didn't think we'd be seeing a second one. But yeah, I really like the more options plus devil deal plus duality. Because then it's like, I get to pick a devil deal and take it. But then, if, I, if I'm not feeling trading in tons of HP... I can go to the angel deal instead and get an angel deal item. Stars card, I'm just going to use. It's the last thing I need to see on this floor, really. I'll take Strange Tractor. I like it. I didn't even see what the other item was. I wasn't looking. Keep letting go too early when I'm trying to use more of the void. I'm stupid. Ah, this box still doesn't work. God damn. Press space and nothing happens. Unless it's changed. Maybe it's changed. Let me go and have a look. Let me go and have a look. Single use spawns around a familiar. Yeah, it's it's not changed. It's just broken. God damn needs to be fixed. Emperor card is nice, we'll take that. Alright, quickly check out what this is. The reverse room. Nope. I'd rather have my options, thank you. Kinda should have known it was that one, to be honest. Makes my life easier not having to redo that room, thank you. Card, we've got a lovers. Okay, back to the boss. We've got some really good stuff going on this run. This run is absolutely no joke. Item room straight away, I think. We'll take the random holy water. Ain't bad. We'll do an emperor card straight away. I know that you, doing emperor card straight away means that Gilmore isn't as effective, but I don't need to do all the rooms an extra time, do I? Every time. Oh, I forgot to use my goddamn active item, to be honest. That was that, that's, that's the more stupid thing there. It's fine, though. I actually, I'm actually i actually not too displeased with the extra speed, because I was I was a bit slow. I'm not too displeased with that at all. Right, let me out of here. Okay, back and try and find the shop. I love it when the room's like, here's the challenge that you've got to do. And it's like, no, 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 I'm not going to find that red button. I'm just going to kill them all now. I'm not following your rules. Okay. Be good, be good. Dad. <laughs> right. We are good to go on this floor. That's a wrap, people. I'll just quickly go back and uh, buy that soul heart from the shop now that I've opened that door. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we're sitting pretty. I think we're sitting pretty. Escape to the mausoleum. Can't believe we're on mausoleum already. This is a speedy little run here. Speedy little run. Uh, straight into the secret room here. We'll take the speed. Pop this. We did get a planetarium here. We did get a planetarium. Neptunus. What's this do? Pig of Sulfur trying to upgrade themselves a better variant, trying to gain Holy Mental Shield when taking damage. I'm going to go with the Neptunus instead, I think. And do you know what? I'll play the hell out of you. Why not? Electro Soul Heart. Thank you. There you go, baby. Bit of piercing. Certainly do not mind if I do. Yeah, Neptunus is going to be pretty wild for us. I like it. It's annoying because we do want to hold for more of the void, but I think Neptunus is kind of better. Ooh, extra luck as well. Got our angel chance going up. Lovely. Really know what to do about this room. Apart from more of the void. Hoi hoi! Not got to worry about anything when we can more of the void it. Gotta keep my keys right now. It's so strong. We're gonna start flying before I get a chance to move. Sad times. I'd rather you just sit your asses down. Let me more of the void you. Thank you. Pop our book. Yeah. Last few devil deals and stuff coming up now as well. I really like, um, what's it called? The, the, a Stranger Tractor. So many people hate on it, but I think it's quite a good item. I think it's interesting. You can just make some weird builds. Of course, it can, it can be a downside and hurt you sometimes, but it's not super often that it does. What am I not going in the cash room for? Foolish. Even now I can still... No. I was, I was trying to wait for my toughest nails, but for some reason the visual wasn't working so I couldn't time it right. And here, Lookfoot... Lookfoot's not great. I'd rather take the risk and gamble. Ah, damn it. An active item I don't want. That's not a gamble I was looking for. Okay. Yeah, in an absolutely amazing position right now. We've got basically no worries for the rest of our days. Oh god, the fires are moving of their own accord. Didn't like that. Right, okay, um, let's just go straight in here. Siren, you're doing some wacky stuff. You've been moved around by my tears. We like that. That's my friend. Don't use him against me. That would be savage. Okay, easy. Oh, what the heck? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Was not expecting you at the end of that fight. Probably a backstabber here. Did not get that high angel chance, which is a shame. Anyways, to the next floor. Item room straight off the rip. Tumor head. Fire occasionally shoots a decaying tear that applies decay. Yeah, we'll take that. That sounds interesting. Sounds intriguing enough to me. Oh god. I keep, like, taking damage and be like, no, and I'm like, oh, holy mantle. <laughs> I forgot about that. We must be near to the boss here. No, we're not. Okay. We are sweeping through, though. Uh, we will grab that eternal heart. More red hearts to trade away is just nice. We don't need them, but it's useful. I'm liking the decay. I, by the way, I've realized there's sacrificial blood everywhere that I'm not using. It's just too tedious to use. I could be using it, but I've got to, like, go and then pop it. And it just doesn't last long enough for the time spent to be worthwhile. Oh, 
Like, look at how many of these there are. If they just, like, if they should just give you a lesser amount of damage and automatically use them. It'd be so much better. I don't know what I did with my bomb there, that was stupid. Perthra? Wasn't expecting it to be Perthra. Oh, shit. Didn't even need to use my book there, I don't know why I used it. My bad. God damn, we have some killing power right now, it's beautiful. Yeah, look, there's just so much sacrificial blood in every room. But I'm not really getting much out of it. We've seen our item room. I haven't seen our shop, but I think I'm just ready to go. There's our next charge bar. Okay, we did get our angel deal and devil deal. I think I'm going to take my devil deal this time. Be a little disappointed with it. More than a little disappointed. I guess I'll take you. Why not? Um, right. And then we go and give... Knife. Piece two. Good, good. Pop that as well. Holy water's not going to do too much against the bosses here, but... It's nice to have... Pulls things in place for us. Okay. Easy breezy on the boss there. To the next floor. Pop our book straight away and then teleport to the boss fight if we get the option. Damn it! No option. Card reading. You've betrayed me. How dare you. Do not want the burn hearts, I don't think. Burn hearts are better if I've got the red hearts to fill them immediately, but I don't right now, so... I'll maybe come back for them. I'll see. There's a red heart there already. This is getting confusing with this guy. I'll we'll take one of them at least right now. Ah, fuck it, I'll take both. I'll take both. They are better. I'm just stupid. There's one of them gone already, but... So that was just me being stupid. So you saw all these sack bloods, but the more of them you take, the quicker they decay. So I can't even gain that much out of them. I'm up to seven point something damage. And it just it disappears before I'm even in the next goddamn room. It's just not worth it. The time investment is just not... It's too, it's too much. You escaped. My sucky sucky will get you. God damn. This guy's tanking. Right, wait for my thingy to come back. There you go. Ooh, Mr. Dead. We do love Mr. Dead. Bit of a weird one, Mr. Dead. Because he's based on the old Mr. Fred. Right, I think. Mr. Fred got reworked by the mod. Um, probably decent. Right. Last floor. Away we go. We didn't get boss room teleport straight away, which is probably fine. Mini Isaacs. Devil Disc will take to the boss fight with us. Butter Bean. Don't think we need the Butter Bean, thank you. I think we're going to be absolutely fine on Mother here. kind of forgot we are playing Maggie then. I'm like, why do all my mini Isaacs have wigs? It's because I'm playing as Maggie. I have a wig. Oh, come on. Stop being a dick. There you go. Your fate was already sealed. Why you got to piss me off? I'm, I'm thinking boss fight is this way, but I'm not entirely sure. We've not seen—we've only seen like three or four buttons that, throughout the entirety of this uh, this run. Didn't see many at all, did we?
like in the constant applying of bleed. Not getting any good cards to take in with us apart from this devil disc. Seems like we're just going straight back to the boss. Maybe maybe boss fight was down to the left there. I'm going to go back and check, I think. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? But I'm going to go back and check. Look at Genesis we don't need. Right, back this way. It's also annoying that the uh, the vials of blood show up as, um, show up as cards on the minimap. Because it's very confusing for what's actually what. Right. I think it's this room down here. Yeah, thought it was. I had a feeling. Right, down we go. Devil Disc. Unfortunately, didn't really get anything useful there, and it doesn't even give us conjoined. Yeah, lost a holy mantle. Unfortunately, bleed won't really do anything for us here, but later down the line it'll be useful. Yeah, first phase is pretty much out the way with here. Pop that. We've only got five bombs, not a lot to work with for the second phase, because we do like to do the little bomb strat when we can do it. I'm taking some bad damage here, but mostly we're doing okay. He's just not really doing the attacks I would have expected of him so far. Yeah, he just keeps doing this one over and over again. Not the attack you expect. We've got him just about halfway. This one's annoying because unfortunately we can't really get in there. And we are sucking him about, which is annoying. Okay, here we go. Oh, he went down the fucking wrong side. That was really, really bad play by me then. I thought he went down the other side. Okay, got to stick back now. I think this, uh, this this thing that charges that active item seems quite balanced. We've not gained too many charges out of it yet. Okay, we're good. We got him. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. Fun little Maggie run and just an incredible start to a run. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.